Hello, hello everyone. I hope you all are having a great day. As I was shopping on Amazon at 2 a.m., I ended up finding this 18-inch lace closure wig that says and claims it's Brazilian virgin hair. So I assume that's what it is. But as you guys can see, the curl pattern is amazing. It's a deep wave, which I really, really do like. And I love the length of it because it's not super, super long, but just enough. And as you guys can see right here, um, it does have all four of the clips inside. Actually, my apologies, all three of the clips, two on the sides and one in the back. Now I'm going to be bleaching the knots on the closure and I'm going to be using BW2 and 40 developer and I'm going to mix them together in my little mixing bowl and I try to get a paste to where when I put my comb in the paste it doesn't lean to the left or right it just stays straight up. I can like move it all around and still stay straight up. Once that's complete, I'm going to finally apply our bleach onto the closure and just the closure area. Um, letting you guys know in advance, I did have to bleach the knots twice, but that was because the first time that I bleached the knots, I only let it sit for like 10 minutes so I thought I had like a higher developer on it, but I didn't so I had to go back and re-bleach the knots. <laughs> I really recommend you leave the bleach on the knots for about like 40 minutes. Um, I really feel like just for these knots, I had to leave them on there for almost like a whole hour and I still feel like they weren't as bleached as I really wanted them to be. I'm going to be using my Shimmer Light Shampoo to get the bleach and that brassy color out of the knots. And I'm going to be doing this probably I'll say two times to the hair. And after this, we're going to be going straight into plucking. And this is how the knots looked after I bleached them for 10 minutes and I was not okay with this at all. You could still see all the black dots so that's why I went in and bleached the knots again for almost an hour. Now I'm officially done bleaching the knots. That did take a very long time. I've never took like an hour just to bleach knots. I think it's just because of um, this wig. Um, it is only $75. Um, but right now I am going to get into plucking. And what I'm going to be doing is just cutting out a layer so that I can pluck behind the hairline because it did kind of already have like a in quotations pre-plucked area hey look i'm not the best at plucking but hey i make it work so what i'm gonna be doing is using my benefit tweezers and i'm gonna be using them to pluck my hairline i'm kind of plucking away from the hairline as you guys can see so not like in the direction of going towards it but away from the hairline so we can actually see what areas are being plucked and then what areas do we need to pluck a little bit more so I did notice while I was plucking that there was two black parts on the side of the closure and it really did mess up everything for the wig where I had to like really kind of like, you know, disguise it and everything um, because the hairline was perfect where, you, you know, you're able to pluck it and everything. But then the two black parts are just so thick and you couldn't do anything to it. You couldn't pluck it or anything because it was just just, yeah, I don't know what it was, but you cannot do anything to it. Did only pluck one side first. I did want to show you guys that black piece that I was talking about that basically ruined the closure, but you know we had to make it work, okay? <laughs> and I do feel like I did a pretty good job plucking this frontal, if I do say so myself. Now I'm going to pluck the other side. Plucking this closure literally took me, I'll say, less than an hour. Closures are just 10 times easier because with frontals, you have to literally pluck the whole frontal side when this you only have to pluck that certain area and i don't know if i said this earlier but this is a four by four closure if i didn't say it earlier i apologize but this is a four by four closure so this is what my wig looked like after i finished plucking it and you guys i thought i was tripping in that i over plucked um this area on the left side but i did not i went back to go look at my footage and my footage showed me that the wig just came crooked <laughs> i think the closure is crooked or any something on the wig because in the a picture you guys can see up here um before i even plucked it or anything it already came like that where it was so visible and there was no hair to cover it or anything else All right, yes, I have the wig here. Um, I can say one thing that was my fault. Um, I did, I feel like I over plucked just a little bit on the right side. And I told you guys earlier how I felt about like that one side and everything. So look, I'm nervous. I have never worn a closure in my life, but today is the day we're about to do it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use some of my um, spray right here. If you guys really like this mister, I got this mister from Honey Hair Co. Make sure you guys check them out. I'll leave like, the link and everything in the description. And I also have a code for you guys so you can get 20% um, off. Just use my name, Yamaya. And I'm so glad that I bleached, I double bleached the knots. Like, I had to bleach the knots again just because the first time I didn't leave the bleach on there that long. Um, so yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't popping like that. I saw my girl, um, I don't want to put her name. I'm going to put it right here. Look, so she ain't really my girl like that, but I, I follow her. I watch her stuff, put it like that. 
Um, I saw she did this really quick trick when your braids is like looking bad and you just like <laughs> put the wig on like this. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, this looks hold up, wait a minute. Let me not get too hyped, too hyped, too hyped. And the wig is just a little big, but once again, like I've told you guys multiple times, I have a very small head. Like my head, my forehead here's the thing, look. My forehead is humongous, but my head size is small. <laughs> just seeing like where these two things end, because I kind of just wanna like I really just wanna cut those little areas off and then somehow I gotta fix that. Okay. I'm about to make this work. I'm about to make it shake. One thing I did really like about this wig um, so far is that the part, I don't know if this is like with all closures or whatever, but the part was just like perfectly aligned for the middle. So that personally for me worked out perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it right now while it's on my head first. And then I'm gonna apply my glue. So I finished cutting my lace and I wanted to let you guys know in advance that the footage that you're looking at um, was the first time I installed this wig and it was just a mess. <laughs> um, I won't use boat hole glue for this wig in general when it comes to installing because um, those little black areas I was talking to you guys about earlier, it made it very, very difficult for the wig to lay down. Um, the glue was just coming up and it was just a mess basically um so my second time installing i went in and i switched over to got to be spray which made it 10 times easier but i wanted to leave this footage in here because there may be somebody out there that has a closure wig and has a better quality closure wig that may just want to know how to install it with bolt hole glue and i got you boo all right, guys, so I'm kind of struggling with this. Not even kind of, I am. I'm struggling with this wig right now just on, like, these two parts right here because they're so bulky and I've never, like, dealt with anything like that. So I'm trying to kind of figure out, like, what to do. Uh, I'm trying to, like, swoop my baby hairs over it, but it's, like, the direction that the hair is going, it doesn't want to do that. <laughs> so, like, literally, if I could swoop something over that, um, it would, everything would be great. Um, let me just see maybe if I could pull just a little bit more hair from right here. I think like if I swoop it from here and then go down, that might work. But all right, you guys, so the wig is finally installed and I'm here to give you guys my final opinion on everything. First of all, my makeup, I did a whole new routine and I'm really, really feeling it right now. So there may be a video on that coming soon. Comment down below if you guys do want a tutorial on this makeup routine because I'm, I'm liking it so far. It looks really good. But we're here for the $75 Amazon wig. So you guys, I'm here for this. I'm not even going to lie. Just for $75, I feel like it's making it work. It's doing justice. And the way that I laid the baby hairs, um, I had to kind of like swoop over here. So I'll get in a little bit closer. Like right here, I had to swoop baby hair all the way from here all the way over. And I feel like it does allow for it to look a little bit natural. Um, I can't really see like on camera because I have like this little tiny camera so i hope that i blended it in as best as i can you know but if i didn't i just have to put a little bit more foundation and that's it the hair is just like perfect like literally i put my products in and it's just it's swinging like it's doing its thing you know um the only two areas that i did have like a little bit of issues with was when i told you guys about the two little areas i had to pluck but i kind of like concealed them um and everything so that worked and the way that i got this hair to be like so flat on my head because i know that some people if you guys do get this wig it may be a little difficult or maybe a little like huh like what i don't get it you know but i use styling foam and i use my trust me i have like both of the products up here so you guys can see and what i did was that i used that styling foam oh i wet the hair first i used the styling foam put it all over laid all this down put a scarf on top and then the rest of the hair i allowed to mold it with the flawless curl spray so yeah overall for a 75 dollar wig by beauty grace hair i'm here for this the hair feels really good hair feels really good i'm loving this a lot um i'm here for it i really am like i'm i'm genuinely here for this let me break it all down for you guys the first time i did this like video and everything i did not like the way that it looked installed and everything and i know that i could have um done a better job myself so i just scrapped that film um i like maybe have a little clip i don't know if i will or not but i just scrapped that because i was just like you know what like 
for me it's quality over quantity and I know I can do better with this so I ended up just redoing my frontal and I ended up laying it down this time with um I wish I would have took pictures but I'm tired okay look <laughs> I ended up doing it this time with the got to be spray and that was 10 times easier for a closure I think using the um the glue and everything yeah it's nice but I'm about to be taking this off today yeah I'm not about to leave a closure on my head all day like that so I feel like that allowed me to have a little bit more control when I was like doing my baby hairs and everything and I kind of like doing it better with the um, got to be sprayed rather than doing it with the bold hold glue that was just me personally and so I don't like how I wanted the hair to look and everything because I wanted it to just lay a little bit more flatter so I really really took into consideration everything from the first time that I installed the wig to the second time that I installed it um, just because I wanted the hair to look nice and I wanted to see how I can like basically manipulate this, you know? Cause look, if I can get a little second fat out of the wig and manipulate it like this, look, I'm just saying, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> but I hope I gave enough insight on the hair itself, um, how I felt about it. The hair wasn't tangly at all. Um, it did shed a little bit, but not, not as like unusual as like any of my other wigs or anything like that so that's what I really did like and it kept the curl pattern very nicely it didn't get mad or anything I did sleep in this hair like one time and I was like uh oh you know but it bounced right back to life and it was really really good so I'm excited about this um I do want to try some more Beauty Grace wigs because they are reasonably priced so Beauty Grace if you're watching this let's talk I'm just saying this is also 18 inches, so I want to show you guys, if you guys can see. It goes to, like, right here. So that's not too bad. I like that a lot. I feel like the length is very, like, just, oh, okay, natural, everyday type of, you know, thing. So it doesn't look crazy or anything like that. But if you guys do want me to review more um, hair companies, more wig companies, please comment down below and let me know what companies you guys want me to review because I want to make sure that my content is tailored towards what you guys want to see and that would be very, very beneficial to me. <laughs> but alright you guys, have a great day and please not forget to subscribe.